I was one of the EMTs that worked at the Astroworld event. Quick disclaimer, I'm gonna give absolutely no names, no company names, nothing like that, nothing to disclose or put anyone in jeopardy. Me and my partner, let's just say Medic One, me and Medic One were stationed at the entrance of Astral World, about 30 minutes into Travis Scott's set. Um, they called us saying, hey, can we need backup by the stage. So me and Medic One arrive at the front of the crowd to Medic Two, Medic Three. They're like, hey, I have people, come with me. And so we walk through the VIP section down the middle of the crowd. As soon as we get past the VIP section, really shoulder to shoulder in the thick of the crowd, there was a couple people that kind of grabbed onto us, grabbed onto my shoulder and was like, hey, there's a girl passed out over here. So me and Medic 1 separate from Medic 2 and 3. They go on their call, we go on this new one. This girl's laying down and me and Medic 1 are asked, what's going on, what's going on? And one of the people says, that, oh, she's been down for 10 minutes, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm thinking, damn it, how has no one done anything just let her lie on the ground for 10 minutes? So I get down there, check her um, pulse and breathing, do my whole ABCs check, and she has no pulse, no breathing, which means she could have not been breathing with no pulse the whole 10 minutes. She's been sitting there for 10 minutes, probably no pulse, no breathing, no oxygen to her brain. I can't just throw her over my back and escort her out of the crowd because it was a five minute hike into this damn crowd. So I tell medic one, hey, I'm going to come back for you. I'm going to grab a crash bag. So I get out of the crowd and I grab my one crash bag, which was huge mistake. I had no clue what I was getting into. So on my hike back into the crowd with my crash bag, at the halfway point, right here, I find another medic performing CPR. I get down, I'm like, hey dude, where's your partner? What's going on? And he's like, I don't know, man. I just saw this person who was no pulse, no breathing. I just started CPR. I don't know how I'm gonna get him out. In EMS, you have to complete your first call before you can assist on any other ones. And so I was like, okay, look, I'll come back for you too. I need to go to my original guy. So I head out. And then in the middle point between the midpoint and my end point right here, I find a third person performing one man CPR on another man. And I get there, I'm like, hey, what's happening? Where's your partner? And they're like, they're taking care of another unconscious person. I need to do one man CPR. I don't know how I'm getting this person out of here. So here I am presented with three different EMS personnel providing one man CPR on three different patients completely isolated from each other, no backboard, no way of getting out. And I'm just like, God damn it. 